It's been called the Nobel Prize of High School Science. And out of 40 finalists nationwide for the Intel Science Prize, three come from a single school in San Jose. These are some yeah. sharp young people. ABC 7 News reporter Jonathan Bloom talked to those teenage researchers and one who has been there before. The it's just useful, it's, dude. It's, like, it's, it's actually it's useful. Great. They're just ordinary teenagers doing extraordinary research. I discovered one gene in particular called the Wax gene that could have a link to colorectal cancer. Stephen Wang is a finalist in the Intel Science Talent Search for a project that's intensely personal. My father was diagnosed with colon cancer, and so I really wanted to kind of find out the basis of this disease. Wang is just doing what his school taught him to do. He's following his passion. They seek out mentors and, and are supported uh, to really go as far as they can go. It may be why the Harker School has not one but three finalists in what may be the most prestigious contest in high school science. They're not just smart, they're true lovers of science. I guess from a very small age I've been really, really interested in evolution. Andrew Jin got the idea to study ancient DNA with modern technology. I made this really effective computational tool using artificial intelligence approaches to train computers to think like scientists. He's figuring out how people evolved to resist certain infections, while his classmate Rohit studies a modern medical problem. So this is the human liver. Fatty liver disease is on the rise. It can lead to more serious conditions, and he's studying human genes to figure out why. Along with the others, he'll present his findings at Intel's finals in Washington, D.C. By making science glamorous for high schoolers to an extent, it gets so many high schoolers thinking about science. For many of the Intel finalists, the trip to Washington, D.C. is just the beginning. They have their whole futures ahead of them, and this is a pretty good head start. In 2006, Harker student Yi Sun claimed second place in Intel's contest for an equation that brought order to seemingly random movement. He went to Harvard, finished that degree. I spent a year in Cambridge doing a master's degree. So after that, I decided to come down my tea to do my PhD in math. Now, a year from becoming Dr. Sun, he told us via Skype he still thinks about that trip to Washington. I felt like the best part of that whole experience was meeting the other finalists. Um, I'm still in touch with many of them to this day. All bright young minds and all winners in their own right. From what I can tell, they're not just doing this to get a prize, right? They really are trying to contribute to the field. In San Jose, Jonathan Bloom, ABC 7 News. Unbelievable. Yeah. Can't wait to see what they do next. <laughs>